We welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. This afternoon from Death Valley Tiger Stadium, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, two undefeated teams help us join the SEC in celebrating 75 years of college football. It's the Gamecocks of South Carolina against the second-ranked Tigers of LSU. Awaits the kick for South Carolina. Got a little bit of a break to the outside, but he's hauled down by Danny McRae, number 44, and driven out of bounds, so he's in the slot. Jason Barnes, the true freshman, top right. Here's Mitchell being chased. Nobody there. Good night. Glenn Dorsey and Kirsten. Flynn back. Stunts coming. Inside pass is dropped by Jared Mitchell. Pass, alongside. Mitchell goes right, man open. It's Jared Cook who makes the grab. Mitchell's on there. Eye formation, Mitchell. Play fake, down the middle deep, and it's tipped and incomplete. Good coverage on Jason in six. And they'll give it off up the middle. Jacob Hester breaks the tackle and sprints out to the 23-yard line. Emmanuel guard gallop by Hester. Play fake, Flynn flips it out. Right side, it's the fullback, Quinn Johnson. And a nice move out to the 33. And Jasper Brinkley went down. We've got more from, uh, he'll operate from the gun. Red Helm snaps it back. Got a man, it's Mitchell open on the left side, but he's short of the first down, so fourth. Quick setup, left side, Kenny McKinley, and that's gonna be good enough for a first down on the left side. We're coming back here. <laughs> we are. <laughs> here comes the blitz. Watch out. Mitchell is nailed for the second time. Up the middle, Derry Beckwith, the middle linebacker, number 48. Third and 16. Four-man rush. No, there is a corner blitz coming, and they complete it to Davis. They're running back, and they pick up the first wow, down. Wow, wow, wow. Gamecocks go from the eye. Three wides. Quick flip, a little one-man screen. Kenny McKinley rounds the corner, and he's moved to the 31-yard line this year that any team has been inside the 20-yard line on LSU. The reverse coming left side. Now a double reverse, Kenny McKinley. And McKinley weaves his way out of bounds at the first three games. That was by Virginia Tech. Mitchell, left side, inside McKinley. Dives for the goal line. I do not believe he got it. Deep back now in the eye. They toss to Davis, left side, yeah. touchdown. Only the second touchdown scored against LSU this season. How about that drive? Well, it was, it was <laughs> second down and nine. Here's Matt Flynn. He's got a man open in the uh, in the race. Beautiful pass. Catch is made by Richard Dixon. Number 82, the tight end, 24 yards. Another in. Pick up. The injured player was Lottie Ajaboy, defensive tackle. Here's Holiday. He's got great speed. He's only 5'5", 160 pounds. Still in the game. Here's the handoff. They come right. It's Holiday. Christmas now. Colt David for the extra point to notch this one at seven. High snap. Flynn gets it down. That was a nice job on the hole because the snap from Jacob O'Hare. Busted route right there. Third and long, stunts by the LSU defense. Mitchell across the middle. Great, that. great, great. Wow, play. about the Danny McCray. Yes. And we, we talked to. That's the Russian judge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. On uh, third down, LSU and Mack was suspended in the offseason. Suspension listed early August. 
Here's the handoff. It goes to Keelan Williams. Oh, what a game breaker he is. Wow. I'll tell you, you know what? Anybody can catch the shotgun snap. I feel he's a bit way more confident. There it is. And he can also run the ball. Oh, can he run the ball? Down at the three. Dixon, the tight end in motion. Here's Flynn. He's got a man open. Touchdown, LSU. It is Richard Dixon, one of his best friends. Roommate, as a matter of fact. Well, keep the camera on. Maybe they'll kiss. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a Colt David on for the extra point. And the hold uh, not controlled really well. Matt Flynn. The, the similarity in Damon and Flynn is scary. Here's Blake Mitchell. Rain coming down again. This is Mike Davis, the running back, out near the 45 yard line. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Here's the handoff on the direct snap, and it's McKinley coming right in the oh. lane. Fumble. That one will go over to LSU. Al Woods, number 97, back up defensive tackle. Seven, second and eight. Paralu pulls it, keeps it. He's a little better than a 4-6. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> got you. <laughs> yes. Oh, goodness. Here's Matt Flynn back. He'll tuck it and run again. Looks for blocks. Well, he got a little bit of a brush block from Demetrius Bird over there, but Flynn will now hold for Colt David. It's a 42-yard effort. If successful, it would be his longest of the year, and it is really unsuccessful. Stay in the game. Third down and eight. Fumble. Mitchell picks it up, throws it away. It's at the feet of the intended receiver. Well, he's been patient, so I make her in the wings. Out with the groin pull. Here's Flynn underneath to Brandon LaFell. He gets a downfield block. My goodness, Brett Helms. Carolina, they have Tennessee and Florida and Arkansas later in the season. Here's Flynn, sacked. Pulled down on third down, and it'll be fourth down. Eric Norwood gets his second. Second down and nine. 14 to seven. Mitchell has time. He goes. McCray breaks it up. Bobbled. Oh. Intercepted. How about that athleticism? Danny McCray tipped it, turned around, came back, dived for it, and picked it off. I think Jason Barnes also tipped it for South Carolina. But Marilou comes left. And that will set up a field goal, but a nice defensive stand after the interception. That was two. Cole David now six of seven for the year with a long of 35. Matt Flynn will hold. And it's a fake. They give it to David, and he heads for the corner. Touchdown, LSU! about the flip from Matt Flynn. Well, it sure explains the third down call, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Because, obviously, that was Buster's in there. Watch this. Matt Damon's just, like, flipping the money in Ocean's Eleven right over there to the next guy. Cole David saying, you think Trendon Holiday's the only 5'9 guy yeah. that can run? 5'5"? Five, five? That's right. <laughs> You know, college football is just no darn fun. <laughs> Boyd, right side. Uh-uh. Dorsey. Oh, my. Uh-uh. Wow. They give it. Right side. I don't no, think so. I don't so. think so. Luke Sanders, number 35, was the man who made the stop. Did Stelts? Flynn. Here's Flynn going right. Th throwback. Yes, it is. Hello, Dixon. And he slipped. Might not have made it anyway. They're going to run right. Yes, they are. Here's Hester. Touchdown, Louisiana State University.
involvement in the wedding and the day of the wedding he had to take a final to graduate yeah, right so they listed him schools had met in football when both were ranked second time the other time was a 1987 Gator Bowl and here goes Culliver tackled from behind but he crosses the 50 he's down at the 45 yard line Harry Coleman number 20 is the linebacker play fake again smelly back pressure from the backside goes deep and has a man but it's double coverage and Chevis Jackson knocks Craig Stelz off the ball Chris smelly the red shirt freshman from Tuscaloosa Alabama here's smelly back again they go across the middle and the catch is made by Wesley Saunders the tight end of the day smelly just threw that with Dorsey right in his face he'll try it again goes left side and has Boyd open so back to back first down for South Carolina Good protection this time. Deep in the left corner for Saunders. Intercepted by Jackson. Well, he took one away from his teammate Craig Stelts, and he says, I'll take this one all by myself. It's his. Once you get one ripped, it's hard to put him over the shoulder pads with you in him. Matt Flynn, handoff. Left side. That's Keenan Williams. Ball is stolen, but remember, it's like the truth. He might, he might have just been faked one, but I don't know how it works. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Oh, that looked ugly. Uh -huh. That was stuck. The third quarter, unless they get a first down. Smelly across the middle, and the tight end Saunders uh, circles back move. and lost the first yeah, down. Bad move. Now they're going to have to play fake. Smelly left side. Nice tackle at the 31 yard line. Did he or did he not? Well, it's real close to the line, laying around. And he knew that team was about ready to explode, and he was right. You can see how they've started out offensively. Flynn to the 45. Oliver, a true freshman, number 80, is uh, way wide to the left, top of the screen. Three wide receivers in that direction. Here's Flynn. He will throw. And it's uh, in front of Jacob Hester and might have been picked off. The good news. Here comes the rush. Smelly lets it go. Boyd has it, but he's going to be short of the first down. Oh, no, he's not. How about that? He broke the tackle and skipped down the third and nine. Blitz again. Across the middle, caught at the 29-yard line. That's a first down. Wesley Saunders, number. See the numbers for Chris Smelly. Right there. Um, yep. Get in and go. See if he does it. There it is. Didn't get it, though. Yeah, a little right underneath to Corey Boyd. He's got that. And it's going to be first and goal, South Carolina. It looks like they're coming at him. Everybody's inside. And again, the quick setup inside route. Jason Barnes incomplete. Fourth and goal. That was Jonathan Zenon, number 19, defending. It's a 23-yard effort. Wow. Line drive, it's good. And he does, I guess, but uh, uh, I guess we have to live with old Matt Flynn. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Jarvis Moss with two blocked. Kicks in that game. Here's Smelly, right side. Wide open is Mo Brown, number nine. And uh, Mo 22 for 128. Blitz across the middle. They caught him. Great call. Fine pass. Mike Davis being chased and caught from behind by Jonathan Zenon. Smelly under pressure. Smelly's down. Face mask. Yep. Marlon Favorite. Will he throw the fade outside? Yes, he yes. will. And he's got him open. Yep. Touchdown! Kenny McKinley. Yeah, he had to throw the fade. There was 10 guys in the box. He just got to go and practice. <laughs> Batted down. It will stay at 12. Tyson Jackson, number 90. 
First time in the last four games that LSU has not exceeded 40 points. They had scored four in a row, plus 40. Ruby Tuesday, player of the game, defensive tackle Glenn Dorsey. Eight single tackles, a sack, and uh, congratulations from Steve Spurrier. I think South Carolina can walk out of here thinking, you know, late first half, and our final score here, Louisiana State University wins it 28-16 to remain undefeated and no doubt continue as the number two team in the country. They've got Tulane next. South Carolina goes back home. Our final score, 28-16.